Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss our second tutorial in chapter 2, Thermochemistry, week 3, hour 2 for both NFTF and FTF questions. So the learning objective for this hour is to calculate the heat absorbed by a substance. If we look at the first questions here, we were given two samples which are aluminium and also iron, both got their own mass and they are heated from 40 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So this one gram tells us about the mass of each substances and then we have temperature difference from 40 to 100 degrees Celsius that contribute to the information regarding delta T. The questions ask which metal has absorbed a greater amount of heat? So this amount of heat belongs to the symbol Q that we want to find, the heat absorbed. Okay, so by right, the one that absorbed a greater amount of heat means their value of K going to be higher than the other. So we are going to check their Q value by using this formula. Q is equal to MC delta T. So our mass is 1 gram, our C for AL given in here, 0 0.900 times with, so our temperature difference is 100 minus 40. So if we calculate this by using calculator, we're going to get a value of 54 joule. Next, we're going to do the same thing for our iron. So for QFE, the mass is going to be 1 gram. Our specific heat capacity is 0 0.444 joule per gram per degree Celsius. And lastly, the temperature difference is 60, so 100 minus 40, the same as before. So we got 60 in here. So lastly, our Q going to be 26.64 Joule. So the one that absorbed greater amount of heat is the one with greater value of Q. So AL going to have greater amount of heat. Next, let's proceed to question face to face. So the learning objective now is to calculate the heat change in constant volume calorimeter. In other words, bomb calorimeter. So we already know the setup of bomb calorimeter is used for combustion reactions. So from the questions itself, it tells you the combustions of naphthalene C10H8 can be used to calibrate the capacity of a bomb calorimeter. The heat of combustion of naphthalene is 5132.8 kJ per mole. From this statement, we can write the thermochemical equations of naphthalene being combusted. So we're going to start with C10H8 in solid states undergo combustions with oxygen gas to give carbon dioxide in gas states plus with water. But then, we need to make sure that we have balanced the equations. Since we want to keep only naphthalene as one mole, means we have to balance everything else. So our O2 going to be 12. Our CO2 going to be 10. And lastly, our water will be 4. So given to you information regarding the heat of combustion, so don't forget to put the delta H value here. So our delta H value is going to be negative 
0.8 kilojoule per mole indicating that this is um, azothermic reactions so then since the questions already tells us that the mass of naphthalene is only 0.210 gram so it doesn't mean that this 0.8210 gram belongs to the one mole that being given from this delta H value so we need to first find the number of mole for our desired naphthalene so since we are given mass then we need to calculate the number of mole from this formula and is equal to mass over molar mass so now our mass is 0 0.8 210 gram divided by we have c10 c10 means 100 plus c10 means 120 plus with 8 so we're going to get 1 to 8 therefore our number of mole will be 6.414 10 to the power of negative 3 more. From the equations, we could see that one mole of naphthalene releases five one three two point eight kilojoule. Then we have six point four one four. 10 to the power of negative 3 mole naphthalene gonna release how much energy so if we cross multiply this value we're gonna get 32.922 kilojoule okay so this 32.922 kilojoule will be our Q reactions. So this is our value of Q reactions. Since the questions wants to find the heat capacity of the calorimeter, then we need to take this value of Q reactions into the formula of bomb calorimeter. So we have a formula of Q reactions equal to Q water plus Q calorie meter where our Q reactions now is 32.922 kilojoule so simply change it to joule only means we're going to move this decimal point to 1, 2, 3 leaving us with 3, 2, 9, 2, 2 joule and then we're going to expand our Q reactions formula as MC delta T with respect to water and also capital C delta T. Okay, so we've got the value of Q reactions. So we're going to substitute it. So we have 32922 two equal to our mass of water is 1000 grams times with the specific heat capacity of 4.18 then we have the delta T of 4.21 degrees Celsius we want to add with our capital C then our delta T again is 4.21 degrees Celsius so once we rearrange these values at our heat capacity of 3639.9 joule per degree Celsius. So this is our final answer for these questions. So we'll start with thermochemical equations, then we find the number of mole, and then we do some stoichiometry to get the heat release from the desired number of mole and then we're going to substitute it into the calorimeter formula 
Next, we'll proceed to the question number two, where we were given 0 0.1326 gram of aluminium completely combusted in a constant volume bomb calorimeter with the heat capacity of 1410 joule per degree Celsius. Okay, so you're given mass of aluminium and also the heat capacity of the calorimeter. The bomb calorimeter was surrounded by 800 gram of water. So we have various mass being given, but please sort all the mass to their respective substance. We have aluminium and we have water. In our calorimeter, we have only water and also the calorimeter. So don't get mixed up with all the information given. Next, the temperature of the bomb and the water increased by 1.726 degrees Celsius. So you already been given the delta T. Now we want to find the heat of combustion of aluminium in kilojoule per mole. Okay, so before we start doing any calculations, we must first write the thermochemical equations. So we have aluminium in its most stable states of solid. React with, since this is a combustion reaction, then we're going to react them with oxygen gas to give Al2O3 also in solid states. Yeah, so just Al2O3 because we have both Al and also O. Now we want to balance the equations since we want to keep this aluminium as one, then we need to apply. 3 over 4 on O2 and also 1 over 2 on Al2O3. So we know that 1 over 2 will give you only 1 Al. So then our O3, 3 over 2. Alright. So now, we'll proceed with the number of mole. Number of mole of the aluminium. Since we want to find heat of combustion, means we need the number of mole and also the Q reactions. So the number of mole can be determined from the mass of aluminium given. And then for the Q reactions, we can calculate it by using information regarding heat capacity, mass of water, and also the delta T given. So we'll start with the number of mole of aluminium first. So we have mass, so we're going to use this formula, mass over molar mass. Okay, so our mass is 0 0.1326 gram. And then our molar mass for aluminium is 27 gram per mole. So once we calculate this value, we're going to get... 4.91 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. Okay, so this is a number of mole for the aluminium that being combusted. Now we're going to calculate the Q reactions that taking place when 4.91 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole of aluminium being combusted. So we're going to use the formula of Q reactions equal to Q water plus Q calorimeter. We already have the information regarding water and also calorimeter, so we can simply substitute uh, the value into this formula. So our Q water going to be MC delta T, while our calorimeter will be C delta T. So our mass of water is 800 followed by the specific heat capacity of 4.18 and then delta T we have 1.726 plus with heat capacity of the calorimeter is 1410 times 
1.726 as the delta t okay so we're going to get a value of q reactions for this 4.91 10 to the power of negative 3 mole as 8205.4 joule okay so this is going to be our q reactions so we know that this 8205.4 joule is released by this number of mole of aluminium but we want to find the delta h we want to find the delta h for the combustions of one mole of aluminium so we need to do some stoichiometry to see the relationship so if we have 4.91 10 to the power of negative 3 mole al gonna release 8205.4 joule means how many heat will be released if we've got one mole of aluminum being combusted so simply do the cross multiplications for this value then you're going to get 1671 160.9 joule since enthalpy usually be expressed as kilojoule per mole then we're going to move the decimal point to here one two and three so our final conclusions for these questions heat of combustion of AL is 1671.2 kilojoule per mole okay we have done with our week 3 hour tutorial so please have a look at these questions once again and also go through all the steps being done so for tomorrow we're going to do our consultations together okay thank you